What's going on, people? I'm just right now, I'm about to do a little commentary on this little video. I think the video funny as hell. I find the video to be hilarious. Hilarious, You know, I don't have nothing against Sonetta. I just think that him and Hassan Campbell, a.k.a. Poppy, it's been playing the people for a long time. You know, him with this conscious community shit, this conscious shit. You know, after he ran into Tafit, Hassan get butt hurt and start screaming and yelling, calling anybody out, just putting anybody on blast. You know, now check out the video, right? I know y'all probably seen it already, but check out the video. This is the reason why I said it was staged. This is the reason why I said this is some BS. Check out the video. Now, when he get to the projects, I'm going to play. He get to the projects, dirty as hell. They got scaffolds all over the place. Hassan wants y'all to believe that the place is under siege. This place ain't under siege. He wants y'all to believe that it's a surge going on. He wants y'all to believe that they holding the people hostage. Now, watch this. I believe the sister didn't know him, but the brother going to say he didn't know him. Then he going to go to right saying, yo, you on YouTube. Check it out. Now, look how you looking. Well, um, here I am. I'm out here. I'm in Bronx River. I'm in Bronx River. This is where the scaffold's at. Yo, where's this? What, what's the name of this project? Huh? What's the name of this project? This project is uh, River, River Houses. River, River Bronx Houses. River? Project, yeah. Oh, we're in Bronx River? Okay. You see? Now I'm a pop. So, um... I'm going to pause it right there. The guy didn't even know he was in Bronx River Projects. He couldn't even, he couldn't even put it out there. He couldn't even remember where the hell he was at. You know, I want to put it out there. This is a reaction video. This is a reaction video. This is what I'm doing. He did not even know where the hell he was at. Now check out this part. He decided to meet up here. I'm here. You don't see no cops, nothing, nothing around me. You don't see none of that. I turn it all around. Why would you be out in the projects with a camera in your no face cops. like that if it wasn't staged? There's nobody around me. No cops. No now you see, you see all the pink stuff? That's that's what they, they put up for guard, the orange stuff. They put that orange net up for guards. Just it's the guard, just to keep the people from walking up, you know, in anywhere they got potholes or rocks or anything. Keep them from falling or hurting themselves. Now look at the scaffolds. You know, under here, let's go inside a little bit. But he wants y'all to believe right here. that they under siege right now. And he wants y'all to believe that these fences and gates is keeping the people trapped. They can't leave. Sure. Now, watch the guy just backed up on the motorcycle. Open your mind up. Read between the lines. Open up that third eye. Watch he talk to this guy right here. He gonna act like he ain't even know how son Campbell. He's been living this since 85. Oh, nothing. Just, just, just chilling, man. Yeah. yeah, what's happening? I see that. I see that over there. What? You see what? Oh, no, I see a camera. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what I got. I got my camera. You know, I'm, I'm coming out here to meet a brother. You ever heard of Hassan? Hassan Campbell? Yeah, Hassan. Some people call him Poppy. Nah. Oh, so you don't need... You live around here? How long you been here? And you don't know Hassan Campbell? I'm pretty sure I'm going to my cousin right now. He probably know who he is. Who is he? Well, you know, he came up with um, Africa Bambada in him. Okay. Oh, so you got a YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah. Because you look familiar. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what it is. So that's what I'm here. See, so he said he didn't know him, but you got a YouTube channel. Who the hell asked people do they have a YouTube channel? Oh, yeah, I don't, you don't know him, but you got a YouTube channel. Hmm. With the brother. So y'all see, I'm looking around. How you doing? You ever heard of Hassan Campbell? See, he want to look Hassan, like he's scared, but he ain't Campbell? scared. Poppy? They call him Poppy? She got the way from his oh, crazy okay. ass. But he got the camera on her butt. Come on, man. Yo, what's the name of this project, man? Frank. Huh? Bronx, Bronx River. Oh, this, Bronx, is, this Bronx, is Bronx River. Bronx, Bronx okay, River. Bronx River Projects. Yeah. Bronx, okay. Bronx, Bronx River. Yeah, thank you. Come on, man. Bronx, Bronx See, River. Come on. No, this shit. I'm for real. This is Bronx River. I ain't gonna lie. I'm here. I'm out here, man. 
Yeah, and that's why we're doing this shit live to see who want to break this piece. Now, all of a sudden, he just pops see up. See what I'm saying? They, what I'm trying to tell now, you is, you from... Now, Pete Game, if you're doing an interview with this cat, as soon as he walk up, y'all two to the shook hands, swear it off, and pieced it right there. That's what two brothers do. If y'all got beef, y'all walk up with each other. Yo, what's good? What's going on, man? How you, man? Yo, you ready? Just do the interview. They ain't do none of that shit unless he edited that out. Because they should have shook and pieced up their little brotherly hug or whatever, little dap. That's how brothers do it. So when you want to swatch your beef, you dap off first. Then you'll speak to each other before you put the camera on each other. Come on now. Unless he edited that, I don't know. Now watch out. Watch his, some, watch his bipolar movement. Watch how Sonic can. condemn everybody else that's out there that, that didn't meet up with you. I can't squash the beef between you and them. I can only squash that shit with us. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm not even worried about that shit. Yeah. One thing that you misled these niggas in the beginning. You nah, told bro. these niggas, I got busy. Then you got on the internet. He don't, he don't even want to let them talk. They can play with me. And see, the crazy part about it is, is that when they run, when they see me face to face, and we here face to face, there's nowhere to go now. They gonna pull, I'm a pull. And it's just like that. And see, people might feel like... What you pulling, bro? See, this the shit on... This this, this this is why I said it was staged. You gonna pull, I'm gonna pull. What is you pulling? You you sit there, and you snitched and said... You snitched and told, told everybody, oh, the FBI's watching, son, that they got a gun in the car. This is why I said, why would they be meeting up after all he said about Hassan Campbell? He said the dude had a gun in the car. You pull, I pull. I'm backing down. I, I, this is shit that, that, that keep mind boggling, brother. All this old tough guy shit. He ain't pulling nothing. He got on a teddy bear shirt. I can't take you serious with a teddy, a teddy bear shirt on. But I supposed to take you as a gangster? Nah. I ain't mind it. My neck of the woods. I just came through here not too long ago and backed out on half of the projects. These niggas don't like me. But guess what? I said, yo, let's go to Bronx River. Now, Pete, no, I'm not doing now, peep game. The teddy bear got his fist up. Black power. Why you ain't wear that down to the right? Why you ain't, why you ain't take your little ass to the right? Check it out. Views. I'm doing it because I know how you are, Poppy. And what you do is you and you. And if anything happened in Harlem, you was oh man, that nigga son never tried to do it again. So I said, you know what? I go to Bronx River this time. Think you realize I strong guy in Harlem. I got too many niggas down. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, he's strong in Harlem. Over the place. I hear you. See? He's strong in Harlem, but he's scared to go down there with Tafik. When he seen Tafik in Harlem, he took the hell off. Read between the lines. Listen, really, really listen to what this guy is saying. Listen to him. Oh, dude. Oh, I've been waiting for your ass to come outside on 125th Street. So <laughs> oh, I'm believe me, that I'm, I'm coming. I go out every day. But, but um, I wasn't filming. You, you ain't where I was. You, y'all niggas, all y'all niggas making videos about me. Y'all know my address. Y'all done put it out on the internet. So all these back and forth, all these back and forth videos is, is unnecessary. My address ain't changed. The house is still the same. It ain't changed. Why would anybody come to your house when you got 5 on speed out, bro? 5-0 got your number. You claim Sonetta, then Tafik sent SWAT to your house. So why would anybody come to your house when you got, they got your number on speed out, bro? See, this is what y'all not, not understanding. See, he could talk that tough guy shit, but he know when he went to the police station, they got his house on speed out. They've been in his house. He claimed to, um, Sarnetta so sent the cops. Tafi sent the cops. Nah, when he went there, what did he say? What did the cops say? We didn't send SWAT to your house. I'm not running from nobody, man. I can't. I can't even run that fast. I can't breathe when I run. I don't, I don't exercise like that. Just a little bit. I can't run. I'm not running from nobody. Now, he said he don't run like that. But how many videos this fool did in the park walking around told him he was working out? How many videos he did? He's sitting there lifting weight. He, he putting the, the bar behind his head. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Y'all don't see this shit, man. This shit is funny as hell. It's going to get real funny. It's going it's gonna to get there. So it is what it I'm gonna is, move man. on. I'm going to move on. It is what it is. I'm going to let it play. I don't care. You don't think that um, you cause a lot of this shit on yourself? Listen, with all the other people. He don't want to answer the question. When we first he there, never answered no questions. Watch this. See, y'all got to understand. Y'all got to understand. You. 
was on your side at one time. All of them. They was never on my side. I don't know the niggas. See? I, I don't listen. As a, I don't know niggas that was rolling let's with keep, you let's keep, and they was banging let's on keep, me. Let's keep it all the way funky, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. You told me from the jump, don't fuck with wax. He can't be trusted. Now he bring a wax up. Right after that, he sent up there making videos. But look at I'm looking at the camera. Your wife, retardedly. And only, if you're going to put this shit up, don't edit it. Right. Let's keep it all the way for Don't edit none of this. He's saying... Wax doll came at his wife retardedly. Hassan did the same shit. Now, now, Sanetta gonna check him on it. Right there, he should have knocked him right in his damn mouth. But hey, man, it is what it is. Watch the video. Yeah, the nigga disrespected your wife all over the place. Your family disrespected him. He did the same thing. Now he's sitting up there kissing your ass all through the comment section. Like, first and foremost, I don't even understand that because if you play with my family like that, when I catch you, I'm not gonna let you play with my family like that. Let's be real with us, son. The only reason why he disrespected my wife was because of you, brother. It was because you told this nigga. dude you I never told me. Look at him lying. That nigga. Right now, but guess hold up, but guess Look what? at Hassan lying. Last dog called me like a man. And he said, you know what, son? I apologize for being disrespectful to your wife. No, that's 100. That's 100. He did that as a man to me. Hold you know what I'm saying? Now I can respect what Wax don't do. Now see, here you go. This when you We grown up from the streets, you This when you can tell this boy be lying. Every time he start lying, he either say, let's keep it 100, or you people, you people gotta understand. That's his thing. That's like word is born. Word is born. Word is born. You people, you people gotta understand. Check him out, man. Breeze. Grown men. Don't go find niggas' enemies to become friends with them. They don't do that, especially on the internet. That's not grown man shit. See, grown men. I thought you understood the art of war. The internet is representative. I you knew the art of war. You not the person you are on the internet. Come on now. That's not the real art of war. This is internet clowns. With this brother right here, right? He's from the streets. Did mad years in the penitentiary. Yeah. Penitentiary. up to the YouTube beat. Because penitentiary fool. He said now, penitentiary. He this a long time ago. This would have ended because this is a, this is immediate family, a bridge between both of us that we both didn't know exist. See, a lot of motherfuckers that think that oh, this is stage. They was this was. Fake. That's what I was saying earlier. That's what I was and saying. And why this clown got an afro with a do rag the on? I'm standing here. Who's who wear do rag with an afro and a baseball cap? That wasn't watching none of this shit. When he picked up the phone, I decided, hey, you know what? Now, this is where he edited it. Come on, son. This is a sign right here for it to stop. Now, from here, I'm not going back and forth because I don't have the energy for that. And like I, I said, this is a reaction video. You just got to understand something. The type of dude, the type of man that I am, you put my grandmother up, and if his sister-in-law, my, my grandmother up, my grandmother up on the internet, and my, that, my yes, you did, my grandmother. You said that was my mother. That was my grandmother. That was my grandmother you oh, put on the internet. Damn. And if his sister-in-law and my and he family, said, damn, come on, man. Like, you ain't know. The that did see, damn, them niggas ain't trying. And there's people that's not going for that. The same way your family feel like, he like, hold up. That's my family you shitting on. So I'm like, okay. Watch how shook he get when that motorcycle come. He gets when shook. When are you, Hassan, going to accept responsibility for what you have done? I, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let me finish. No, no, Let no, me no, finish. No, no, let me finish. When are you going to accept responsibility for what you have done? The only reason why I threw up your family members was because you disrespected my wife. You disrespected my daughters, bro. I never talked about your family until I saw that. And I, See, and now he's he nervous. He on edge right now. you kept doing it. So he on, on edge right now. Either he drunk or he high. He on edge right now. Alleged, allegedly. Either he drunk or he high. Allegedly. But he on edge right now. He about to get ticked off. He about to get ticked off. I sat up there and I said, you know what? I squashed it with you. I said, you know what? This is over with. I apologize to everybody for acting ignorant. That wasn't good enough for you. No, I'll see if you give it to me today. I'll see if you give it to me today. Right, see? But I thought this was going to be real. I said, no, what? it is real. What I'm telling Did I try to set you up? I'm not Did I try to set you up? I believe that. I personally believe that. Because the one See, thing he's still the saying the same shit. The one thing, the one thing, because why did he lie? Why did he lie about Topic being there? I did not. Now you did. I never Red seen Topic, and I still why, said that to the day. Why, why, why Red Pill? Red Pill made it clear that you saw him, and I. And Red Pill him. tell you, I listen. listen I can call see how Hassan can't get his lies right. Listen. First, he said he didn't set him up. He set him up. He didn't set him up. He set him up. Come on, man. 
doesn't even matter. Yeah, Buster yeah. even go back and forth with that. Uh, re the reality of go it back and forth. He run the shit up because the mountain that you oh, the ship that you built up that led us to where we at right now. I would not no what I, what it is is yeah. the responsibility doesn't even matter as men. We both agree that we're going to walk in peace. Right. Now, if there's a problem between the two of us that we still got to get off our chest, we can get it off right here, right now. Because you'll never have a problem from the get and that's my, No, we did have a problem. See, his so thing is, is he can't man. take the truth, that's so dude, his thing is he want to go to fight him. out to come and meet this dude. Somebody need scrap with him then. The, the See, he can't take the truth. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him, look him swelling up. Look at him swelling the chest up. Look at him. Look at him. But what happened was he went back and made He don't want to let nobody I talk. He got women traits. He don't want Come nobody on, talk. Nah, that's not how it happened, sir. Si. I called you on the phone and I asked you why you tried to set me up. What the fuck was Topic doing there? You told me Topic. You didn't see Topic. I, I heard still Topic say that to this day. I heard Topic when I was on the phone with you. And then Red Pill turned around. Red, Red Pill turned around and told me a year later he was like Topic was there. He saw Topic. You spoke to him and he spoke to him. I'm telling you right now, that's a lie. I never spoke but, to him but, that day. What you did was I'm still telling you that that's, that's a lie. lie. But then what you did was just recently with the Topic. I gotta put videos, it out there. This should be action video. With the Topic videos, you know how sensitive this sensitive this shit is mm -hmm. between me and Topic. And Topic could talk all that shit that he's talking on. Okay, quiet now. Now he's quiet again. Tafik, no, that same day when I was out there and I seen him, I met him, I, told, I went right to his mother's house and told him to come outside. He ain't come. Tafik could talk all that and pop all that shit. He popped. He did not come. Tafik already know how it go down. He knows. He get busy and I get busy too. And Tafik always avoided that. But the truth of the matter is the nigga was supposed to be like my brother. And he sat on your platform and act like he didn't even know me. But yet he got over 20 years of photos with me and him together. You know? Let, let you tell it. He got 20 years of photos of molestation with y'all messing with other men and uh, messing with other guys. Come on now, man. He got 20 years of photos. You said it out your mouth. Now, I can say allegedly, allegedly, but it came out your mouth that you and Tafi was with Bam. You said you got shit on Bam, you could put Bam in jail. Since you ain't not the, since you don't want to go to the riots, and you don't want to march, and you don't want to protest. Why you ain't take Bam to court yet, homeboy? Where the paperwork for the court? Where the paperwork at, man? You say you gonna go to court. You say you gonna go to court. You gonna file charges. Where's the paperwork, bro? You don't already put Bam out there to be a to be a, a what do you say? He put Bam out there to be a to be a um Bam was the the getaway driver. And the crime that him and Tafit was involved in. So where the paperwork then, bro? You say you got the paperwork. Did you go to court yet? This motherfucker ain't going to court. He's playing, y'all. That is because you already know that the nigga... I mean, we in Bronx River right now. Do you really want to go through Bronx River and see how many people will tell you just, just the story of Africa Bambada and what he really did through this shit? They just said the two... They just said there ain't no African Bambada. Come on, bro. The, com the community in you. The community, the, the community are tell you. Yeah, the community are tell you. I, I feel you. So the reality of it is for y'all to even play. Like the game How the community going to tell you, you anything when they don't even know you? You're pedophile. You know that. Everybody in the Bronx that told you a story oh, about Ben Bob. Well, you, you went to we are, that time. I know, but oh yeah, you was with me. Downtown. But listen, when you at war and you banging, you banging, brother. Is is no rules to that shit, no, and that's no, what I'm trying to. But see, you two banging for fake. You two bait. You y'all two. It's fake banging. Y'all ain't number two little kids arguing. Your mother, your mother, your father, your father, your grandma, your grandmother. Y'all two little five year old kids banging on each other. Then y'all both getting y'all emotions. You in the car with a pistol. This fool right here drinking liquor, getting drunk, talking about playing with a dagger, talking about stabbing people. Come on, man. You motherfuckers a clown, man. I don't believe neither one of y'all. That's the difference between you not accepting responsibility. I'm here to accept my responsibility. The difference between me and you, sir, when it comes to the war, difference between me and see, me and you. Y'all shouldn't even be standing together. Don't make no sense, man. No matter what, I know I'm killing the video. I'm talking too damn much. Enemy, because you are you 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 murdered you murder 
everything innocent about a fucking child. So I don't care what it is. Before I kill you, I would get the pedophile. Let's keep it all the way funky. Everybody keep playing these games. Talk about why you ain't get banned. Before I kill you, I'm gonna get the pedophile. So why you ain't get banned? Why you ain't get your brother? Kenneth, why you ain't get the babysitter? So you let all these people live just to get YouTube views? Think about this shit. You let everybody live to get YouTube views. You just set it out your mouth. Is y'all watching this video? Before I kill you, I will kill the pedophile. You didn't kill Bam. I'll wait. You didn't kill the babysitter, the female, whoever she was. I'll wait. You didn't kill your brother. You say he was the first one to touch you, right, ma? Your uncle coming in with his dick out. Allegedly, but that came out your mouth. You didn't kill nobody. Come on, man. This is some bullshit. This boy be sitting here lying and y'all sitting here acting like I'm making this shit up. Check out the video. It's right here. He ain't doing nothing to Bam. You know Bam hiding from me. Bam pulled the Hummer stunt when he went over there and he made that video with Bronx River. He that didn't come crazy. out. He came Bam out ain't hiding. That was crazy. He didn't come out here. He Sarnetta laughing. Look, look at Sarnetta. Sarnetta probably was out there with Bam. He laughed. Sarnetta was out there when Bam came out. This my hood. And you know why he did that? Look, he clowning. Look, look at this shit. How the fuck is Sarnetta cooning for Hassan Campbell? Come on, man. After I named him out here, he came out here to intimidate the dude. I don't give a damn if they flagged this damn video. I don't give a damn. Should be action video. You see what I'm saying? And they mad, they mad at me out here about that. Paul Ice and all the rest of them. David Pacheco, Paul Pacheco, and all of the rest yeah, of them. Get it, man. The niggas are still mad. Yeah, they mad because you put them on blast. You said all of them was molested by Bambada. You put them on blast. I be mad too. That, but the reality of it is, it is what it is. Everybody, the see, look, there go right there. The reality of it, the, the reality of it is, it is what it is. He didn't give no explanation why he did it. It is what it is. Them, them men he put on blast got families, kids, sons, mothers, wives, girlfriends, baby mothers, uncles, aunts, nieces, because he was in his he was in his emotions. He put everybody on blast because the top feet was sitting there with Sarnetta and some other old, old OG type of dude, some other OG. Respect to him too. I don't know his name, but respect to him. But he sit there and put him on blast because he was in his emotions like a female. Like how y'all gonna let, how long niggas gonna let that nigga run? Bam been hiding from me. Bam ain't stepping to the forefront. But oh, what you gonna do, son? The bear. I'm so I'm supposed to. Who hired from a nigga with a bear sweater on? I'm supposed to chase him, right? Like, come on, stop with the games, man. Mm -hmm. There's a whole army in the Zulu, the Zulu nation. They know where the motorcycle at. I want that motorcycle to they come by. Because he that. gets shook when that motorcycle come. It is what it is, man. This was a serious situation. This whole situation was based off of a child molester that done ran through thousands of little kids. But why you ain't put him in jail? No, the whole shit. You know what? It is a sin. What split us up, though? Hassan knows what. Hassan is not keeping it real. What split us up is when he said I tried to set him up to get him killed. Now, why Sarnetta go backwards? That really made After split. they finished talking the about that. Right there. Ha, Tafik worked on the 125th Street. So, when you say. Why is we back here? talking about it's the same right shit? There. You see what I'm saying? But Hassan ain't trying to tell you all of that. He works there, bro. Now he does work down there. Oh, damn, come on, man. Come on. When, it's, when, all, when all this first started. That was about, what, five years ago? Six? When all this first started. Yeah. How long ago was that? We got to speed up a little bit. These, these fools get crazy. I want to see the part of the motorcycle. This might not be the video here. It's a motorcycle that go by. And he gets shook. Then he, there's a, it's a part in this video. I think it's the second one. When he start coughing and gagging. Man, I swear to God, I want to grab that mic. I want to grab. I think it's the next video. Got to be the next video. Yeah, it's the next video. Let me get down to the next one. This shit don't make no sense. All right, let's go back here. Before I, 
All right, here we go right here. This is the video right here. Son, go down there and give their ass the guidance. Here you go. going to get deep for you, right? Yeah. Here you go. You got to understand, I believe what I say. First and foremost. First and foremost. Come on, bro. This was strategically being done. Come on, bro. This whole situation, that man's death, whether he's alive or not, because I don't even Come know. Come on, hit the conspiracy death, theory. Come on, bro. Disrespect the George Floyd. George Floyd. He don't even know his name. I don't know if I believe him. Let, let me make that clear. I don't know. Because first and foremost, his whole, the whole situation with his death, him being friends or working with the with, with the same cop that killed him. For See one, this? Come on. For two, Come the, on. Way he, the way he was killed was it, it, it was it, it was it was a ritual killing. A ritual killer. Come on, come on, come on. That was a ritual killer. What they did. It was symbols all in his death. Symbols. Look at this. On the garbage can. Conspiracy. The on his neck conspiracy. The death of the, the Colin Kaepernick with the knee on his. Look. All conspiracy. Right all before this cold. He trying to make it was all six six six. Six knee knee. Come come on, bro. Country, come on, bro. I ain't buying it, bro. On. I ain't buying it. So now. I ain't buying it. This man death to do the same thing. This is part of the second wave that's going on in America. I don't think people understand. Come on, I ain't buying it. Again, because you made a video. I want people to understand something. Stand what? I love my son and what he's doing. No, you don't. The sister Mallory sound beautiful voice, but at the same time. No, bro, you hate dark-skinned women. Come on, bro. You hate dark-skinned women. Come on, man. Preach. Come on, man. Let's, come on. This is bullshit. Now let me go in. Yeah, and go in. She said again. When he go in, he got to be disrespectful. Said. Fuck Target, burn that shit down. Fuck AutoZone. Now, y'all know like I know. Who the hell shop at Target? Target is expensive as shit. Everything in Target is expensive. And you go to Target, you don't see people like in Walmart with, with two, one or two shopping carts, right? When you go to Target, them motherfuckers got them red baskets. If, it, if it's 100 people in Target... 20% got shopping carts and 80% got those red baskets. Cause it's spent it's it's high as fucking target. The only people that buy that go to Target, ain't no target in your hood. Only people that go to Target is living in Westchester County. Ain't no target in your hood. I ain't never seen a target in the hood. This is not back in the days of the, the, the Watts riots and stuff like that. We living in the day. Right now, the watch rise was in Newark, fool, California, fool. Come on, man. Come on. You see food shortages. Food shortages. A virus that I don't know. Now, why see shit on black people? Not, but I know people are dying, and they say that, and they and they say that it's coming from that. And I know people. Now he said, now see. Now, with that being said, so I never put him out there. He had it. The guy with the camera had COVID nineteen. Supermarkets. We see food shortages. Look at this. Toilet paper shortages. Like there's a shortage of everything right now. Toilet paper shortages. Shortages. Who bought all the toilet paper? Where I live at, all the white folks bought all the toilet paper. They bought all the toilet paper, all the paper towels, but they, they didn't buy no vitamins. Come on, man. What kind of shit is this, man? We trying to get... They, we didn't have these people tell us that you could get one item per person in a supermarket. Not where I live at. Which lets you know in the future, if these factories is closing down, they won't... Y'all telling me... The supermarkets where y'all live at, you can only buy one item. Nah, it was ten people to a, ten people to a store. In a small store, you could buy one item. Come on, man, y'all really believe in this shit? Food. There is no black supermarkets like that, and if there is one or two, that's not enough to feed the whole black community. So now we're to. But you not black. What community? If you in the hood, you got bodega stores. You got Chinese stores. The only stores you got in the hood that's black is what? Caribbean, West Indian, Jamaican. I ain't, I ain't never seen a black supermarket. Come on, let's go. Mallory sat up there and said out of her mouth, fuck Target, let it burn. Now Target said we closed yeah, the let it burn. stores. After this summer, is going to be the next wave of them putting up uh, us up in the under quarantine, right? We don't know how. But he don't know this. Giving them stimulus checks out, I don't even get them. So now, when it's time, to the reason why you don't get a stimulus check, fool, because you never had a job. All you did was bounce to work. 
And security for rappers. Let's go. Who the doomsday preppers been prepping for years. Some of those white people, they got enough food to last them for three years right now. No, they don't. No, they don't. Where I live at, these motherfuckers around here, they struggling. Come on now, bro. Come on now. Come on now. Government has been building tunnels. David Ain't nobody building no tunnels. Doomsday bunkers for millionaires just like Noah's off underneath the earth. So but he don't, do he don't know this. He don't know this. What I'm going to do is let me finish. He ain't so going to do now, shit. He don't have an answer. Right now, if... Now, check it out. Now, this guy right here with the camera, he had the COVID nineteen, right? Look how close they it, look how close they up on each other. Neither one of them got masks on or gloves on. Neither one of them. But then they're gonna show a part in this video when he start coughing and gagging and sneezing. I would have never grabbed that damn microphone. Not the brother, but Hassan Campbell. You gonna see how he perform? And what she said, I understand her anger of what you she don't. said. I understand her passion. But what she said was the dumbest Why you look like Gilly TV? The world because it's just like you Why the dude with the hat look like Gilly TV? TV series, The Walking Dead, right? In The Walking Dead, they're scavenging. Now, see how big he is next to Hassan Campbell? they scavenging trying to get food, right? Now, check it out. Now, you see how big this brother is next to Hassan Campbell, right? You see how his energy change? His energy change... Because he sized up now. He know he sized up. So his energy changed. But when he get back to Sinatta, he going to go eight shit. But he talking to the guy. But that's why the guy pressed him with that microphone like that. He ain't had to get up on him like that. He pressed him because he changed the tone of his energy. Check it out. Now we scavenge and trying to get food. In a minute, it's going to be less I have food. to put that out for this reaction video. We have to go video. to Target to get our supplies. We got to go to the auto zone to get our cars fixed. So in war, you ain't got to go to AutoZone, war, fool. Just like with every you got country, O'Reilly's. This rules the war. Certain things you don't tear down. You got advanced auto. Food is one of the things you don't want to tear down, for one. For two, when it comes to fi fixing your automobiles, you have to go to them to get the parts. They own everything. You can so shop you can online, fool. So when you at war, you never poison the river. You got A1 Auto. You never poison the water supply. You got Instagram. You school bills. No, 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 no. You got eBay. You so you disagree with her and what she's saying. I you got Amazon. You ain't got to go to auto parts store. She, she don't realize that what she said is, 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 is basically what he pull out his ear. our supplies. And okay, so my question to you is this. Let my question to you is this. Like, no, no, no. See, he don't want to let nobody talk. All right, hold on, hold on. Me, but let I just want to ask him something. Let me ask you that, right? After you say whatever you say, he say whatever he say. See, look at his energy. Look how he looking at him. His energy changes. He don't want to let Sarnetta talk. Not at all. But look how he looking at him. See, he don't want to let Sarnetta talk, but he let the other brother talk. You making this a sloppy, a, a sloppy thing doing that? Let me finish saying what I'm saying, and then you say what you gotta say. First and foremost, look, look at the China, look at the China man with the mask on. And I posted on my <laughs> look at the China man with the mask on. But neither one of these fools got masks on because they don't, they don't believe they can catch it. But the guy with the camera had it. Totally against that. The he brother with the mic had COVID nineteen, and, 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 and he got a mask under his neck. And that's what Khalid, the great Khalid Muhammad, said. For one, for two, let's keep it funky, right? If this COVID is really real, and you had the COVID, right? Not only did you have it, but a lot of other people had the COVID, yeah. even though they keep saying that it's fake. Shit is real. No, he Hassan says it's fake. That's why he don't have a mask on. All the black people to go march. When we still ain't clear the air of the COVID and get each other sick and bring this to our grandmothers and our kids, that's the dumbest thing that you can do. Right now, you're supposed to move not off of emotions. You're supposed to move strategically. Strategically. What's the solution and what do you think we should do rather than march? The solution is, for one, it's for us as a, as a people to sit down to the, to the table and figure out together what's the next move. Not one person can't say he ain't got an well, answer for it. The black person and we gonna go down there because the worst thing that Mike Son did and Tamika Mallory did. Now he back kicking they back in. I believe they did it with good intentions, but there's no, somebody, you don't. George Soros, that I believe that's sponsoring the movement. And now what I say about yeah, that Tifa, is, come so on, now come these look brothers at this bullshit. went down there, right? They went down there to march, and then in the process of them going down, no, there I'm to sorry, march, man, I gotta um, was infiltrated fast forward a little bit. Yeah, I got to move this down a little bit. That's just the brother talking. I don't want to hear all that. 
You got to read between the lines here, man. You got to see it for what it is. You got to see it for what it is. Peaceful shit. He'll be, he'll be um, standing tall what, looking at Target burn. He'll be standing tall looking at all of them shit burn. When we at war, there's no goddamn um, rules to war. You said that there was rules to this shit. Hassan, how many times you... I'm going to tell y'all something, right? If you're watching this video... When I post it, look up Alec. Now, Alec, I don't know, some of y'all probably seen it already, but Alec is on YouTube. Alec is a law that it's a group of collective corporations. And what they do, what they do is they come up with these laws. And the law they came up with was stand your grounds. Walmart, AT&T, Verizon, Target, Costco's. BJ's, these big corporations came up with stand your ground. They make up these laws. The laws they implement when you get locked up in their stores, they send your ass off to a privatized prison. Now, stand your ground is not a, is not in the Constitution, but these big major corporations they put this shit together. So if you get locked up in their store and you go to jail. He was tagged under a private entity where they put you in a privatized prison. See, that's what they're not telling you. If you get some chance, Google it. Bullshit, you're not. It's real. It's 100% real. You're standing with the youth. You're going to represent and be with the youth. How many times you said that? Brother. He ain't got nothing for the youth. He ain't got nothing for the kids. And guess what, Hassan? Stand out there and, and guide them. Show them. Don't get behind the computer and talk bad about them. Go out there amongst the you and show them how to do it. Don't talk shit about it and, and what's bad or something. You said that Tamika and my son gave the order to burn down the police. They station. didn't give no damn order. How dare you say something like that? He wanted you them to go to the cop house and get down shot down like dogs. Live on the air in front of everybody. Look, he about to turn up on him. I'm gonna say exactly what I said. What she said was, and it's all over the air. She said, "Let that motherfucker burn." Yeah, what? And What's wrong with that? Right Let that motherfucker burn. I agree. Listen, you leaving this conversation where you wanted to go? It's that because he got his sweater from Target. He got the hat from Target. I'm gonna say this again, right? Now he got the mic. Again. He paused. Tamika Mallory. He got. He got to think about it first. He got to think about it first. I believe their intentions was good. No, you don't. No, I you don't. Respect both of them. No, you don't. But, but they went out there. See here, you go. Peacefully protesting. Turn up. Right. Come on, turn up, they brother. The process of, uh, of them, them peacefully protesting. Come on, turn up. Hey, look, look, check it out. He gets shook right here. Look at this shit. He shook. Look, look at him. Look at him. He shook. In the process of them peace, peacefully protesting. Right. Yeah, listen. You with us. <laughs> look at this, look at this shit. A homicide never told me he with us and he's in the Bronx. Do it look like I'm worried? Yeah, you worry. Not even a little bit. Virgo. This is a Virgo. Right. Listen, listen. This is a Virgo. What the fuck Virgo got to do? You was shook, brother. Hold up, man. Hold up. Hold up, man. He got shooters now. <laughs> he got shooters now. Come on, man. You gonna shoot doing a bite? Process of them peace. Oh, uh, hold up, hold up. This shit is hilarious, man. You with us. You ain't gotta worry. I'm not worried. He ain't worried. Come on, come on, come on, come on. He got shooters now. Come on, what you gonna do? Shoot the dude with a bite, man. You gonna shoot doing a bite? Oh, I went back a little too far. To, um, Hassan, go to the million you marked when they was banging. Kyle said, take they goddamn nice thing. Don't let nobody. You said that to Oh, Mika man. This shit is hilarious, son, man. Look, look at him rubbing his chin. See, because he got to think about the bullshit before it come out. Like he that. pulling it out. He going to pull it out. They gave the order to burn down the police station live on the air. In front of everybody, they burned that that, that, that police station was already burning before they even started. Before Tamika even started what she talking, said was and it's all over the air. She said, "Let that motherfucker burn." Right, and I'm saying that right now. Nah, he got a Let problem with dark skinned women. Burn. That's his problem. I agree. Listen, 
you leaving this conversation where you want it to go instead of letting me put my powerful yeah. impact of what, 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 what has to be See, said. See, Sarnetta... I'm going to say this again, right? I'm only bullshitting right now. Again. But Sarnetta knew that bullshit was coming. I don't know if this to be true, but when Sarnetta looked down the street, he gives him the microphone. I believe their intentions was good. Open up your third eye. I respect both of them. When he looked but down the street, he gives him the microphone. Out there. Peace then he pulls out his phone, he recorded him. Right? Hey, they take the motorcycle. <laughs> Look at the motorcycle with the back. This is the bullshit. Look. <laughs> Look at this shit. Look at he gonna nod by the watch he look back down the street. Paul. Look at that. Peacefully protesting. Oh man, come on, come on, come on. You ain't got to worry. I'm not worried to pick. I'm not worried about Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Look how he looks. Look at look at He don't rob distorted niggas. He got to make himself look badass. Like I'm worried or do it look like my eyes is open. I look like I'm worried. Yeah. Not even a little. You look like that teddy bear on your shirt, fool. You're crazy, man. Both of you are crazy. I look like I'm looking over I he he I nervous, man. He can't even talk. I'm just out here. I got shooters in my hood. But yeah, he, he got shooters in his hood. I don't want to get off topic. To me, he making it seem like he got snipers right? to the left right? and snipers to the right. Come on, bro. This ain't Grand Theft Auto, man. This ain't, ain't, ain't Call of Duty. I believe that they had good intentions, but I believe that people want to hire ups above them. It's corrupting. Now, I got to move on with opinion. this. They went out there. I know. Just bear with me. Bear with me. Bear with me. When you see Antifa starts. To blend in, and now they violate. I want to get to the part here when he start that gagging. I don't know if this is part right here. The dude that died was a porn star. It's all on oh, the oh yeah, yeah no, let me take it back. He's saying that he's saying that Mr. Floyd was a porn star. That's the weird part about this. I don't understand where he gets a cop that he worked with. Where he gets this from? He said old boy was a porn star. He just said anything come to his mouth, man. We was entrapped. It was a setup, and I believe that you don't go into a situation blindly. I believe personally that the thing that got us and and that get us ahead in life. Is when we boycott. See, here get the motorcycles. Our money is our power. There you go. Coming the back. Jewish community, don't worry about this. If you put your hand on a Jew, if you touch a Jew, it's a hate crime. You going to jail for half your life. If you, See, go, you got to look back down if, for the motorcycle. If you, go to jail, if you put your hand He's on shook a Jew, right it's now. a hate crime. The Jews don't go through what we go through. You know why? I got to say it again. This is a reaction problem. video I'm doing on Hassan Camel Sound Letter. Out there in the streets, do we go and give them? Do we go? He ain't got an answer, man. Or do we just sit back and talk about what they do and talk bad about it? Well, I tell you, I, listen, guidance. I tell you this the young kids, they've been in the streets and I've been coming out here giving them guidance. Nick Blinky just got murdered in Brooklyn, nobody said nothing. The nobody know Blinky. Oh, KJ, KJ Bowler just got murdered. No, and this is the same. The don't same nobody know KJ Bowler between Pop Smoke. So now Pop Smoke, KJ Baller, and Nick Blicky all murdered back to back. Oh, and you talking nobody about? Had nothing to say. Yeah. Don't, so don't nobody know him. See Hassan Campbell addressing. All don't nobody know him. Now I never heard it. I never heard these guys rapping about Pop Smoke. That's it. Make the nigga famous. I don't even know. I don't even know if he's really dead. No disrespect to his family. But now all of a sudden, the dude that died was a porn star. <laughs> he said Floyd was a George Floyd was a, a porn so a porn star. To it is, it's all types of weird shit. On top of the fact that he worked with the cop for years, so now all of a sudden. Nah, he he did it. They I think they worked together one, once once or twice. They ain't worked with each other for years. Come on, man. Just like Kaepernick, I'm gonna do the Kaepernick ritual, ritual until you die. Come on, it's a Kaepernick then, ritual, right? Ambulance is gonna pull up. With Who's showing face for home, boy? Not even an ambulance. Don't take his Bible. Throw him in the car, and that's it. This shit don't seem right to me. America is trying to bring in a new world order, and in order to do that, they Here you go. to Check out the coffee. bring in new laws to get rid of the Constitution. Are you the new Malcolm X? There you go. Check this shit out. And he should have a mask on. Sarnetta should have backed his ass up six more feet and let this man... Look Look at this shit. Look at this. Ain't no pollen out there. You ain't no pollen. You don't see no green shit on them cars. Ain't no pollen out there. Come on, bro. You know? 
Yeah, so Come on, that, shake it off, man. Not, shake that shit off, man. Talk about them, condemn the children. He's saying it's pollen, he's spitting. We got to go out there and fight for them. And if he he teary-eyed it now. At least give them guidance. Tell them what they're doing wrong. Be with them. I oh, just can't listen. say, hold up. You can't say Come on, man. they're doing something wrong and you in the house and you're not doing nothing. Well, you got to stand with No, I'm talking about stand with them. Let's oh, he's sick go. now. Right now. Down there and try to organize the youth. Let's do that. Because that's where I was going to go today. I was going to go down there and get this footage. And and, and um, organize with them. If my mother in the hospital dying, why the fuck would I be trying to organize some youth? See? And if you, you don't give a damn mother, about the kids. I was on my way to the hospital with my dying See? mother. I got an aunt in the hospital damn near. Every video, his mother dying. So why would you go to the hospital? Fuck them kids. Excuse my language. That's pretty much what he pretty much what he just said. Fuck them kids in the hood. Why would I be trying to teach these little niggas in the hood and my mama dying? But ain't sound that of the one that says mother eat is mother eating pork sandwiches? Your mother dying. Every time somebody asks you to step up, your mother dying. When they ask you to do GoFundMe, oh, I ain't got an education like that. I don't know shit about that. My mother in the hospital right now dying. Come on, bro. Y'all really not reading between the lines? Y'all ain't got that third eye open, man? Y'all just letting this, this kid just talk? Oh, he got, man, shit. He, he got the walls over your head, bro. And the uncle, why the fuck? See, here's, here's the thing, See? right? So when people sit up there and pass judgment on people, right? Or why, why are you in the house? First of all, when I do the shit that I do, it's not for camera. So when I'm yes, you do everything for camera. I'm with the youth, I don't put that shit on camera because the you do everything for the camera. You went after the chicken Burger King, camera. The chick eating the Slim Jim, camera. What y'all didn't peep, what y'all didn't notice. Check it out. When he said that girl eating the Slim Jim totaled his car. Couple videos later, he was stuck somewhere in the Bronx changing a flat title in that Mitsubishi that he said was total. Did y'all peep that shit? Is y'all hearing me? The girl was eating a Slim Jim that he claimed allegedly tore his car up. Couple videos later, he was in the Bronx somewhere Changing a flat tire on that Mitsubishi. But y'all ain't catch that shit. I didn't catch it. This is the reason why I unsubscribe from his channel. Because he full of shit. He be bullshitting. And I'm dealing with, they packing pistols. And they selling drugs. They don't want to be on camera. Yeah. They right. don't want to be on camera. So I can't take these young boys that I'm dealing with and say, oh, well, we just... So ain't no more drugs out camera. there, man. It does not work like Pills. that. Pills. Ain't no more drugs out there. It don't work like that. <clears throat> Nobody you doing that shit. See how many how, how many shootouts I done actually stood in between? Where I done oh, now you bulletproof. And people on that side. Now you I'm, bulletproof. I'm cool with both of them, and I jumped in front of bullets. You never catch that. No, you in jumped in front of bullets, Gotti. You on the internet. So when people say <clears> you jumped in front of bullets, Gotti, you ain't jumped in front of no damn body. Out in these streets, then a lot of people that sitting up there talking about what you just saw on the internet. Nah, but the reality of it is, let's keep it funky for everybody that's talking. Charity begins at home. Yeah, he loved to bring it home. So the number one thing that I'm doing is making sure my children. He loved to bring it home. Don't contribute to the down. He make it seem like he the only man on this planet that's home with his kids. First of all, you's a home mom. You should be home with your kids. You don't work, bro. You should be home with your kids. You don't work. I ain't knocking your hustle. You get your checks from YouTube. You don't work. So you don't have no choice but to be home with your kids. Let's go. A black community. That's the number one I'm doing thing that I'm doing. For one. For two, I don't sit up here. I don't know why you keep saying it. Condemning these young boys. Who I condemn is these grown ass men. Like it says on the song, where the fathers at? Where's all the fathers at while these young boys dying in the street? You know where they at? Most of them working. Most of them in prison. Most of them dead. And most of them got away from the bipolar ass baby mother. That's where they at, bro. Didn't you get away from your, bi your bipolar baby mothers too? You say you got a bunch of kids out there. 
What makes you better than anybody else? Come on, man. You a stay home mom. Where they at? Where's all the uncles at? Why these young boys dying in the street? Matter of fact, where's all these bragging ass gangbangers at?